We've done this so well before. Let's see if we can get it together. Good morning, Kate. Hello. What are we going to talk about this morning, Kate? We're going to talk about stealth camping. What else? Stealth camping. My favorite because Kate camps in weird places that I don't stealth camp at, or if I've done it, I've done it once or twice. But uh, come on, let's go for a walk and talk. All right. So Kate stealth camps. Let's let's just go down the list. Planet Fitness you stealth camped at. Yes. And you know, they're only open five days a week for 24 hours and two days a week they're not open for 24 hours. And you stealth camp there when they're not open. What was that like? Uh, it was very quiet. And because there was nobody there, there was only like a few other campers in the parking lot. And I like being alone, so. Okay, and no one bothered you? No one bothered me. And my other question is, Okay, now you're the recipient of the Home on Wheels Alliance van, and you've been camping for how long? I've been camping since, well, this time with this van, since April of 2021. Okay, so uh, April of 2021, so almost- a year and a half. Yeah, almost two years, congratulations. Now, we camp together, but sometimes, you know, I'm like, where's Kate at? Where's Kate at? And one morning you were down there at Lowe's. I was shocked you were camping at Lowe's. So you stealth camped there. Where did you camp at at Lowe's? Uh, just in the parking lot. Just in the I, parking lot. Were yeah. there other vehicles with you? There were. There were a few other vehicles. Were they like the box vans that Home Depot uses or? Oh yeah, they have those there also. But then, you know, other vans were there. Other uh, car campers? There was another minivan and I think there was a bigger van. And were you busted there? No. No, yeah, you just don't get busted, do you? No. Okay. And um, and I didn't ask permission. I know you should ask permission. But when you pull in so late and there's nobody to ask permission to, well, that makes I'm a sense. grown adult. I'm just going to do what I need to do. And if I need to know otherwise, then they can just ask me politely to move and I'll That makes turn sense. And... Now, you're also a big fan of Home Depot. Same yes. thing? Same thing. And never bothered. Never bothered. Now, one thing I did uh, find interesting, you stealth camped at a Denny's. Yes. And what was that experience like? Same thing. You just park. I cover, I, I'm not very stealthy, like you said in the other video. <laughs> no, you're not. Put my, compared to me. I put my reflectix up in the windows, and sometimes I leave my passenger windows uncovered. Yep. Passenger and front driver. But um, sometimes I cover them, depending on the amount of insulation I want. Gotcha. And, and yeah, you're not as stealthy as me. Um, you know, I can look in your vehicle and say, oh, okay, maybe there's a homeless woman there. If I was a policeman and just let it uh, slide, homeless person there, I'm, you know, there's nothing really that gives away your gender. Go ahead. Oh, no. oh you're just smiling. <laughs> you're just having a good old time. Um, so any other weird places Probably that you've stealth you. camped? Oh, uh, yes. Let me see. I, I stayed, when I first got my van, uh, I wanted to stealth camp as much as possible because I wanted to just get the nervousness out of my system and see what I, the limits I could push. Yep. Um, I stayed at Breakmasters. Oh, Breakmasters. That's S an odd one. Staying at an auto repair garage is the perfect stealth camping because it doesn't matter what rig you're in, everybody's just going to assume you're there waiting for repair the next day. Oh, that makes so much sense. Now, one of my viewers also commented, she loves stealth camping at hospital parking lots. Have you ever done that, Kate? I haven't. Oh! That's so, one place I haven't tried yet. Well, we gotta try it. But the beauty of that is, is pretty much wherever you go, there's a hospital. Absolutely, absolutely. And she said she had never been busted, but she follows the rules. She gets in there like at 10 o'clock at night, up at six and leaves. I do have one situation where I did get a knock. Okay. But it wasn't my fault. Okay, what happened? I parked at a, it was a triangle shaped park and part of the edge of the park was in a residential neighborhood oh. where there was a cul-de-sac and I figured nobody would see me over there okay it's, it's dark and nobody's coming to the park this late and I, I got away with parking there actually several nights oh wow not in a row okay Never in a row but I stayed there and left and went other places and came back well one night I got a knock it was a police officer and she told me I can't park here and I said oh I wouldn't have parked here, but I didn't see any signs. Uh huh. There were no signs. That's not my fault. Right. So she said, yeah, I know, but you got to go. And so I did. So, oh. I just left. And you're very comfortable at camping at all these uh, places that 
I don't camp at. I don't stealth camp at these places and she always invites me and tonight I'm going to camp someplace different. We're going to stealth camp uh, someplace different. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Ma Cherry uh, stealth camps at car uh, apartments. I love apartments, casinos. Uh, we're on beautiful BLM land right now so we don't have to stealth camp which is nice. Yeah. All right. You want to say goodbye Kate? Goodbye, Kate. All right. Goodbye, Kate. Kate creates. Kate creates. Yep. Kate creates. What a great van lifer she is. Bye.